Welcome back. President Biden extending a program to extend mortgage relief and a moratorium on home foreclosures through June as thousands of Americans continue to struggle to keep up with their payments during the pandemic. What could that do to the market? Joining us to discuss is Rogers Healy, CEO of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. And our Monday panelists are also standing by Joe and Victoria. Okay, Rogers, I want to start with you here. How have you heard from landlords? Are they worried about tenants not being able to find the money when the moratoriums end? Everybody's a little bit worried. I think that, you know, the, the good news continues to stretch. By the way, uh, great color jacket this yeah, morning. Yeah, we match. Um, Looks good. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it, I think everybody's a little bit worried, right? Whether you're in a state like Texas or a state like New York, you know, you're wondering when or if the music is going to stop. And so these extensions keep happening and people keep you know, getting the delays and having a little bit of uh, forgiveness and grace. But yeah, I think people are definitely on pins and needles, you know, whether it's residential or commercial anywhere in the country. Tell me about the market right now. It seems to be a seller's market with so many people leaving the city and moving to the suburbs. Is that what you've seen with your clients as well? We have. And, and, you know, I think that for a long time, let's say the last decade, we had to redefine different terms in real estate. And I think the one term that we really got used to redefining was the definition of a good deal. And we would tell our people, whether they were in California, Chicago, Dallas, or you know the, the, the Northeast, that a definition of a good deal was a deal that made you feel good, right? And I think people would interpret that to where like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm gonna get 10% off or 20%. Now it's just getting the deal. And, and stuff that we've seen with the, like the suburbs, you know, especially you know, in, in the red states, it's a relative craze. And I think people right now that are purchasing, they just feel good that they actually got the ability to buy something where the deal is just that. It's just getting the actual property under contract in your name. I've also heard too that some are even skipping the home inspection process or kind of cutting corners just so they can get that deal signed. Is that true? It is. I mean, every, everything you can imagine that's, that could be going on is. And, and stuff that again, like we're, our job is to mitigate risk and to coordinate you know, inspections and appraisals and stuff like this, but they're waving appraisals and, and people are coming to closings on $300,000 houses with an extra twenty to $50,000 out of pocket just to get that property. So it, it, it's a seller's market for the most part. Inventory is at an all time low and places like Dallas are feeling the, you know, we're, we're, we're in a gold rush right now. But again, if you sell, where are you going to go? And I, and I think that's eventually what's going to be the rubber meets the road uh, in certain markets. Yeah, that is the question, of course. And, uh, you know, Victoria, I'm thinking here in New York, there's not much incentive to relocate to New York City of all cities, the greatest city in the United States in the world, some would argue, uh, just because we're dealing with some lockdowns still in place and policies that are set in place by our Democrat leaders. Uh, do you envision yeah. this being a problem for sit major American cities? Well, Emma, I have a suggestion on how they don't have to continue the, the rent problem. Open up the cities again. I mean, that might be a good idea and let people go out and get back to work as they, as they want to do in the blue states. And besides, even when this virus is over and we can go back to not wearing masks per St. Anthony Fauci, we're, there's, those states are still going to have high taxes, taxes out the gazach because of not just because of the pandemic, but because they have high taxes. But let me tell you, Rogers, we're in the real estate market. Joe, tell them. We are <laughs> hunting for a home in St. Augustine, Florida. There is no inventory in St. Augustine, Florida. I can assure you what you're saying is absolutely true. You want to get to a red state, Rogers? You got anything in mind? Uh, yeah, listen, be willing to get creative. And, and I think that like, like waving the inspection, waving the appraisal, but we're seeing so many people purchase properties without even seeing the properties or touching them until after closing yeah. that, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And on top of that, too, we have the majority of our buyers right now in the marketplace across the U.S. are millennials, which means they're doing most of their stuff on their phone anyway. So it's not, you know, it's not as crazy as it used to be. So yeah. Realize, you know, that you're not going to be in a place forever, you know, no matter what your demographic is. But if you can go and find something right now, whether it's in Florida, Texas, Arizona, you know, wherever the people are moving to, you know, get excited about the opportunity. Yeah, you guys might have to wait just a little longer. I'm assuming you'll want to see it in person, any home you purchase. Yes. Okay, yes. yeah. Rogers Healy, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank Joe you. and Victoria, stick around. Still more to get to.